Marshall Butters reporting from Lee Plaza in Dipolog. Christmas is almost here and Dipolog nons are making their last minute bid to grab those essential items necessary for Christmas Eve. Assisting me with the making of today's video is camera person extraordinaire and third year journalism student Jessica. Hello Dipolognons, I'm Jessica Rio. And Jessica will ensure that the cutting edge reportage stays on message. But what that message is, is anybody's guess. So we've come to a supermarket to find out what Filipino people are buying for dinner tomorrow night. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is first ask Jessica, what's a traditional Filipino dinner? What does it consist of? As a Filipino, in our house, we usually prepare uh, spaghetti, lumpia, bihon, and fruits. Whoa, that's a lot of food. I'm going to ask this chap here what he's having for his Christmas dinner. We're having some ham, lechon, spaghetti, salad, like many more, bro. Yeah, yeah, good. All right, thanks very much. Happy Christmas. I'm just going to ask this lovely lady here what she's having for her Christmas dinner. Oh, we, uh, we will have spaghetti, spring roll. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so I'm just asking these two beautiful people what they're having for Noche Buena for dinner. Did, did you say you were going to have macaroni? Yes, for macaroni and spaghetti, I guess. Will you be cooking? Yes. Are you cooking? Yes. Oh, good. And you're, you're having dinner together? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. We have, uh, of course, the pancit, no? Pancit. It's very pancit? known. Yeah, it's yeah. very known in the, here in Philippines. Fantastic. Thank you. Merry Christmas. So what are you having for dinner tomorrow uh, night? And you're, you're cooking? Cooking. Yeah. Adobo, spaghetti, pancit, uh, chicken salad or not buena. Oh yeah. Right. Can I come? Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas too. So what are you having for dinner tomorrow night? Yeah, we will be having sweet and sour meatballs and macaroni salad. Oh yeah. Merry Christmas. We're on the Christmas streets of Dipolog and I'm with my news director, Jessica. <laughs> Hello again, Dipolog fans. And I said to her, this is just like to prove how philosophically more advanced she is than me. I said, what would you really like for Christmas? And this was her answer. So all I want in Christmas is that I want my family happy and then we are united during uh, Christmas season. And that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said, oh, what, can I have anything? Oh, I'll have a Bentley. Uh, can I have a couple of million in cash? Well, we've just walked down to the boulevard and we are in such good Christmas cheer that we've decided to sing a song. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart and the very next day, you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. This is the beautiful boulevard yeah. in Dipolog. The place is so nice. Excuse me, Poe. Can I ask you a question? What do you want for Christmas? What do you want Santa Claus to give you for Christmas? Money. <laughs> Money? That's a good one. That's what I'd ask for. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Hey, ma'am. May I ask you a question? What do you want for Christmas? It's very simple. Good health and a little bit in kain. Yeah. See, another philosophically advanced human being. Excuse me, Poe. Excuse me, Poe. Can I ask you a question? What would you like for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? You want to be with your family. That's a lovely thing to say. Isn't that a lovely thing to say? Is there anything else you'd like for Christmas? Um, nothing else? Yeah. Just to be with your family? Yeah. Oh, that's just beautiful. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Excuse me, Paul. Can I ask you a question? Oh, yeah. What would you like for Christmas? Um, what are you hoping for? I'm hoping for peace with the family. 
Palestine and Israel one. Oh, that's lovely. That's a, that's a real Christmas message. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas to you too. Enjoy. Thank you. What would you like for Christmas? Have a family complete. Have your family with you? Yeah. yeah. No, because he's work. Oh. oh. Your husband? Yeah. Is he working? Yeah. Oh. In, in the Philippines or in... Yeah, a... in the Philippines. But he can't be with you for Christmas? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. He will come at New Year's break. Oh, okay. New Year's break, not Christmas break. All right, you have to delay your Christmas a little bit. Yeah. All right, well, Merry Christmas. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is a million dollars. Can I ask you, what would you like for Christmas? What would you like for Christmas? Uh, <laughs> peace and money. Peace, peace and money. <laughs> that, that's a good one. What, what, would you, what, would you, what would you like? Money. Just money? Money. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. As we wandered down Dipolog's awesomely beautiful boulevard, I can't help but wonder how, in lesser fortunate parts of the world, people will be spending their holiday season. It's been enlightening to hear time and again the simple wants of people of all walks of life. Health, happiness, time spent with family and peace in the world. And so even as a non-religious person, I've decided to send a prayer out for peace in Gaza. That's my Christmas message too. So to all of my friends old and new across this amazing planet of ours, of whatever faith you may be, I hope this is a time of happiness and safety for you and your families. And you want to be with your family? That's lovely. What do you want for Christmas? <laughs> a million dollars? <laughs> do you like a sports car? Wherever you are in the world, we wish you a Merry Christmas from the Pollock. Merry Christmas, everybody. All right, so I finished my video. How did I go? It was great, Sir Marshall. <laughs> what grade do I get? Um, I think it's... Nine out of ten. A nine out of ten. <laughs> oh.